Today, we will set up Arbitrium's Managed Matchmaker. Before we begin, you will need to have an existing application, so if you want to know how to get started, you can check my tutorial video on how to get started here. With that out of the way, let's dive right into it. You will see on your dashboard the Matchmaker option. So, if you click on it, it will take you to this menu. If you don't see this, it might most likely be because you're using a trial account, which has its limits on some of Arbitrium's features. Assuming you do see this screen, we'll only have to click on Create New. You'll be asked to name your matchmaker. Remember, the name must be, at most, 13 characters long and not use special characters. I will name mine Vanitas MM to match the name of the game I've already created. Now, you have two options going forward to complete your matchmaker. The first would be to create the component button here. But components are part of the advanced matchmaker and therefore outside of the scope of this tutorial. What we're going to do is click on Details and create a managed release. We have a very simple step left, which is to fill in this form. We specify the version, give this configuration a name, and now we have two options. We can either copy-paste a JSON or YAML file with the fields of the form on the left, or we can do the opposite and generate a file of the format we want. I will do the latter so you can see the JSON and YAML format we need if you wish to do this through a file of your own. You don't need to fill all of these, and you can even add custom filters if you think it's necessary. For this demo, I will fill all the blank fields we see and change the default zero players to four. Now, we save our changes, and the only thing we have left is to click here and deploy it. Our managed matchmaker is now online and ready for our game. That's it for this tutorial. Don't hesitate to get in touch with our team on Discord if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.